Uh, this is going to be a short how-to video on the Electric Eel Ecamm ACE and ACE2 pipeline inspection cameras. Uh, very simple to operate. Uh, both units have 200 feet of push cable and the, intended, the, the correct application for these units is 3 inch diameter and up. The typical application will be a 4 inch main line from the house to the street. It's never to be used in a two inch, uh, uh, two inch line. Uh, if you get in too small of a line, you're gonna have the uh, chance of breaking the push cable. And when you do that, you're gonna lose your picture and it's a very expensive repair. So a key thing to remember when you're using this equipment is three inch diameter and up. Now, to use this system, is, what's nice about it is very simple. Uh, first thing we're going to do is lift the uh, shield. Now this shield does has two purposes. One is to protect the monitor when it's not in use or it's in transport. And the other purpose is to act as a sun shield. So if you're out in the bright sunlight, you can still uh, view the, the monitor and see a good picture. So step one, step two, you're going to plug it in. The plug-in is on the side of the reel. That goes in there, then you just plug it into your cord. At that point, you want to make if you have as long as you have the green light on the uh, on the power uh, box, you're good to go. At this point, you'll see the lights on the camera; they are on. There's no adjustment on those; it's always uh, full brightness. Then press the button once, and you'll get a picture. Now, you're, at this point, you're ready to put it in, into the pipeline. There's a wheel brake on the side of this unit, which locks the reel, keeps it from moving for when it's in transport. So when you want to use the camera, just simply un, un, loosen that, and the camera head will come out. Always make sure the camera head comes through this silver loop here. That keeps the uh, push cable from getting tangled when you're putting it back in. At this point, you're gonna manually feed the camera into your pipeline. And you're gonna to continue to do that until you reach the point where you see the problem. Whether it's a broken pipe, a collapsed pipe, or just a pipe that's uh, maybe packed with tree roots. For inspection is complete, uh, you're just gonna push the, the cable back into the reel and at this point, it's a, good, it's a good time to wipe the cable down as you go back in to clean the cable. Uh, you never want to pressure wash the reel or the cable, the unit itself. It's okay to pull your head out and wash that off if it's muddy or whatever, but never pressure wash the reel. So simply wipe it down with a rag as you go back in. You're done at this point, so put it all the way back into the reel. Lock the reel, turn the power off, close the cover, unplug it, and you're ready to go. Now this unit here is uh, what we call our ACE-2. This is a standard ACE, this is the ACE-2. The ACE-2 incorporates some additional features that the standard ACE does not have. Uh, one is built-in recording capabilities. Uh, two is a footage counter, so that you know how many feet you're in the pipe. And the third is a wheel kit, which is actually not on this unit, but it comes standard with, with a wheel kit. Uh, start up on this unit, exactly the same. Plug it in on, on the side. Get the lights on your camera. Press the red monitor button. At this point, you are ready to use the camera, excuse me. Just takes a minute to power up. Okay, now you got your picture. Um, this, in, this indicates your, uh, the, your footage. If you unlock the reel and pull the camera head out, you'll see that number advance as you go into uh, the drain line or pipeline. So that's a nice additional feature, especially when, when you're talking about locating. Uh, you'll now 
only know where the camera head is, but you know how far out it is. Now, if you, if you want to record what you're seeing in the pipeline on the ACE-2, uh, it's a fairly simple procedure. You're going to insert a USB stick on the side of the monitor, and it'll take a few seconds. Uh, the unit will recognize that stick. Once it does, you'll be ready to, uh, to record. Now, to record, simply press the red button here. You'll see the light, red light indicator, which tells you you are recording. Now, when you're finished recording, just hit the stop button here, which is the square, and the light goes off. So, at that point, you can take a USB stick, put it in a computer, email the video, or, or whatever you want to do with it. Now, when you are recording with this unit, and you're going to press the red record button, but you just want to do a quick press. Do not, you don't have to press and hold it, just a quick press. Give it a second to react. You see the light come on and your indicator that tells you you're recording. Uh, likewise, when you want to stop, just a quick press on the stop button. Give it a second to react, and then you're, you're good to go. Now, as I mentioned earlier, the ACE-2 has a footage counter, which indi indicates in feet or meters, either way you want to read it, how far you're into your pipeline. Now you, you can move this around on the display if you'd like, just by pressing this red button on the side. We'll move your, uh, your footage indicator around wherever, wherever you like to view it. And if you need to reset the counter, you simply press and hold the red, red button until it flashes, and then it'll go back to zero. Now both the ACE and the ACE-2 uh, has a 512 hertz transmitter built into the camera head. This is for locating purposes. Uh, on the ACE, the, the SON is always activated as long as the unit is powered on. With the ACE-2, you actually need to turn the SON on. And uh, again, simple procedure to do that. The red button on the side of the real hub, you're going to press and hold until you see a SON indicator flashing. At that point, you release the button, and you'll see the SOND indicator in the, in the bottom right-hand corner, so your SOND is, is ready to use now. If you are uh, in need to uh, do a, a locate, uh, the XT512 locator from Electric Yield works with both of these units. Uh, this picks up the signal on the camera head. So if you're out 50 feet and you know you're out 50 feet, but you don't know which direction, you can use this device to actually locate the camera head and, and the, uh, get the depth of, of the camera. So if you have a pipeline, you need a pipe you need to dig up, you know exactly where to do that. Now on our, on the Electric Fuel website uh, is a separate instructional video on how to operate this unit, which is uh, pretty clear and easy to understand. But that's the purpose of this. Uh, which goes with the transmitter and the camera heads. For a successful rental of either the ACE or the ACE-2, uh, just a couple things to recap that we spoke about earlier. The cameras are to be used in three inch diameter or larger, uh, typically a four inch, never anything smaller than a three. Never pressure wash the unit itself, the monitor, the reel, the cable. It's okay to pull the camera head out to clean it, but do not pressure wash the reel. And when you're going into a pipeline, uh, to, to, to view a problem, go slow and easy, don't force the cable and the camera, or it could cause damage to the unit, to, to the camera head itself. Uh, now, complete in-depth manuals for both units are available on the Electric Fuel website.